Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number one of our My Player. You saw by the thumbnail that we will be joining Burnley in the Premier League as we try to dismantle Chris Wood, the likes of Barnes and Jay Rodriguez, and we try and form a new mould for a striker at Burnley. No more for the tall, aggressive, physical striker. We're going to go for the shorter the more accelerate, the more skillful, the more tricky striker at Burnley. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we fare. We'll see how our relationship with Sean Dyche does evolve throughout our career here at Burnley, here at Turf Moor. But for now, we're creating our player. We are. We don't look like the typical Burnley player. You know, there's not many Burnley players. That, I feel like there is not a blonde Burnley player. They've all got darker hair. I don't know why I'm thinking that deep into it, but we come into the new system for upgrading your player in FIFA 22, my player. Now, a couple of good things here is obviously you can pick what stats you want to be better for me. I want some better pace, I want some better dribbling eventually, and I want some better shooting. So that's what we're going to be focusing on firstly as we kind of start to level up. Obviously, we also get the perks, we also get to do the trainings to get our first team space, to get either a, maybe even a substitution place. If we don't train enough, then our level is going to drop down. Sean Dyche is going to be hating on us. But for right now, we're going to be practicing our through balls, our penalties, and also a bit of other striking ability. Um, because initially, I did think that I was going to be an attacking midfielder. Then I remembered Burnley play a 4-4-2, so an attacking midfielder isn't really going to work out. A winger, all they really do is cross for Burnley. So we're going to go in the middle and we're going to go up top and we're going to try our best to dismantle the attacking forces that they already have at the club, which are some pretty good players, all things considered. Um, as we do level up and I'm going to try and keep you kind of as up to date as possible with us leveling up and us adding our tokens. Sometimes I might forget, so we're going to do an update. I think every five episodes we'll do an update on the tokens and the level and the perks that we've got, but we are coming on for our debut in the pre-season tournament. We won a 7.0, one goal from outside the box, and two kit and assist. And we've got 12 minutes to do it, so Sean Dyche has got big expectations for us. But we are coming onto the pitch in the striker position, and we are going to look to get an assist straight away as our first piece of action comes, and we are going to receive the ball here in the middle, hold it up. Didn't quite work out the first time. We receive it again. We play it across to our strike partner and we get the assist we tick that off the list but we don't even go up that high of a rating in terms of our match rating overall um i think we only went up to a 6.3 normally when you get the goal and assist you kind of bounce up really high but yeah for this one where you can see we're only on a 6.5 we're pretty late in this game against valencia we're gonna look to have another chance here though i don't see us scoring a goal from outside the box and this is our only other opportunity in the game we lose the ball and that was it that was the main point of focus for our player during this game. That's what I'm going to do during these editing processes. We're going to focus mainly on our player and what we do throughout the game. If there's goals for the other teams and whatnot, we will select them. We will select our own goals and we'll select the team goals. But a 6.9, 14 minutes plays and we got an assist. That's not too bad for your debut, all things considered. We didn't get, we only got one of the objectives set for us from Sean Dyche. But I think all things considered, we should be happy with that and we can move on into the next game in the preseason friendly and hopefully with a bit of training we can maybe even push in for the first team but as we exit this game we actually have got a message from Sean Dyche. Gee I've been really disappointed with what I've seen from you lately. I'm not sure I can count on you as a member of the squad at the moment. Never mind putting you in the first team. I need you to be at your best in every training session if you're going to be uh, if you're going to win your place back uh, and play with Tarkovsky. Hard work and it's up to you now. Regards. Sean Dyche. So even though we got the one assist and uh, the fact that we only got one of the two objectives for him, he was very disappointed with us and he sent us a very scathing message here. He wants a 7.0, a goal or an assist and three passes in the opponent's half. Hopefully we get the three passes in the opponent's half and hopefully we can get the 7.0. They seem relatively easy. The goal or the assist might take a bit of luck here against PSV and this time we're playing on the right hand side of the midfield and they almost go and make it 1-0 to themselves very early on to our kind of us coming onto the pitch. You can see how pissed off he is. He's talking to Chris Wood about that one. 
that the game is actually going to end as a nil. No, we didn't get any of the objectives. He's going to be even more pissed off. He's going to send us another message. He's going to be raging us. We'll get some advice here from Nick Pope. And, oh my god, Ben Mee is blonde. One of their best players is blonde, and I completely forgot about it. But we've got a 6.7, five passes complete, a nice passing accuracy. A lot of distance covered, considering the amount of time we played. But we got none of his demands. And he's putting us into the reserves this time. As we do level up, though, from that game and from a bit of training. Gives them more tokens. We're just going to boost up the pace, boost up the shooting and the dribbling. Because we that's mainly what we want. That's what we want to build our player around. We want dribbling, pace and shooting. As for the third game in the preseason, he wants a 7.0. Two shots on target and three passes in the opponent's half. We came on. We did nothing. We got one of them, we got the attacking passes, but other than that we got nothing again. We're still in the reserves and we're going to have another message from him after our loan request. A note to advise that I shall be considering your request to be made available for loan. I need to weigh up the club's interests against your seated desire to play with some football elsewhere. I'll come back to you with a decision soon. Thanks. Sean Dyche. So, whilst he thinks about sending us out on loan, we're actually going to make our Premier League debut. And for the objectives, a 7.5, two interceptions, and an assist or a oh sorry, an assist on a goal. And we got quite a we got quite a substantial amount of time in this one against Brighton. Opening day of the season, it's nil nil as it stands. We're playing on the right hand side, and we just got to get this assist. We skip past Lewis Dunk. We've got the pace over him. There's a man in the middle to aim for. We're going to look to find him out. Didn't quite work out, as I think it was probably Chris Byrne maybe that made the interception there, denying us the chance of the assist. And a nice boost in our rating. But you can see our overall rating in this one. Not too bad. We're on a 6.9 right now. Creating quite a few chances here. As the ball is going to come to, I think it's Matthias Vidra. And he just belts it. And it's a beautiful goal for the... Oh, is he Czech or is he Croatian? I think he's Czech. I think he's from the Czech Republic. Uh, Matthias Vidra makes it 1-0 to Burnley with an incredible strike. And late on in the game, 92nd minute it is. We're all back defending. It's the Burnley way. The two banks of four in the 4-4-2, but a nutmeg there forces me to go in. And I'm an attacker. I'm not a defender. I'm an attacker. And we give away a penalty in the 93rd minute. Two to Brighton. You can see how furious Sean Dyche is there as Malpe steps up, but he is denied from Nick Pope giving away the corner. This corner will ruin it for you now. Comes to nothing. And that's going to be it for this episode. I will leave you with a message from Sean Dyche. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace. I'm aware that you wish to go out on loan, and I've decided to agree uh, to your request. You'll be added to the loan list immediately, and I will let you know when you receive an, an appropriate offer. Uh, kind regards, Sean Dyche and Zankowski.